welcome to the Wellness Project. I thought today that I could go over a few simple lower body movements. This could be really helpful anytime you're feeling anxious. Um, also possible that you might be feeling bored, you might be feeling stuck. So anytime thoughts are swirling in your brain or you've got tunnel vision, uh, you might have symptoms of shortness of breath, uh, you might feel claustrophobic, anything like that, this is a great way to bring yourself into your lower body hopefully bringing you out of the repetitive thoughts and the breath into a calm, rhythmic pattern of movement. So this is just a few simple movements you can do in any seat. Uh, you could do this in a waiting room, you could do this on an airplane, you could do this in an office. Uh, so I'm in a simple folding chair and I use props. If you have props available, I encourage you to make sure that the seat that you're in is the appropriate height for you. So. Work with whatever you have. I happen to have a few blankets, one on my feet. This is helping promote a 90 degree angle. You can see that my heels are right underneath my knees and my knees are in line with my hips. I also have a support underneath my seat and the support that I've rolled up is just a blanket rolled up at the small of my back. Again, this is all just depending on the situation that you're in, you might not have access to these things. And that's perfectly fine. Find a comfortable position so that you can be in this 90 degree angle if that's possible. Sometimes it's nice to take your hand and actually pull the flesh of your outer hip and thigh region back. Just pull it back so that you get right up over top of the bones, of the sits bones. So you really feel yourself firmly in your seat. So to take this first action, we find an upright, rooted, So bringing attention into your feet, begin to spread your toes as if you're spreading your hands wide like starfish, and then squeeze and scrunch your toes. You can do this toes and fingers at the same time if you like. So spread your toes and squeeze and scrunch your toes. Now you might be wearing socks, and if that's the case, then just spread your toes inside your socks, and then squeeze and scrunch your toes inside your socks. If you're on a carpet, Feel the sensations and the fibers of the carpet, especially as you spread. If you're not on carpet, you're on maybe a hardwood floor or another surface, feel the air and the space as you spread your toes. And as you squeeze, feel your toes touching each other. A few more times, spread and scrunch. Spread and scrunch. That's a stillness. We just started moving, so notice your toes.
four and walk. So hands at your hips, the top of your pelvis, and any amount you pick up one foot, bring it down and then pick up the other foot and bring it down. Again, rhythmic movement. So if you can't walk, if you're someone who really likes to take a walk, but you're in a room or you're in a situation where you can't leave that space, you can't go for that walk, maybe under a table, sitting behind a table or you're at your desk, you could start to do this mindful walking. So notice when your toes touch down on the surface and the other side comes up, so back and forth. Any amount is fine. It doesn't have to be a big lift. Any amount. And with your hands on your pelvis, you'll start to feel where that movement is initiated. parasympathetic nervous system. That's the system that tells your body everything's okay, you're safe. And again, it's rhythmic. It's on your time. You're following your breath. Three, two, one. When you're, when you're finished, you place your hands on the tops of your thighs. Your elbows are in line with your shoulders. And at this point, you might feel sensations throughout your entire lower body. Just allow yourself to feel those sensations. And that's the lower body sequence. 